Hi, it's Jenna Leflam from Pleasurable Weight Loss and welcome to this video called How to Stop Your Food Cravings by Feeding Your Heart. Now food cravings are a topic that's near and dear to me because they were the bane of my life for a long, long time, a whole decade in fact. And I just felt terrible about myself when the cravings would be so dominant and it was just, I couldn't control them. Now what I came to realize is that the cravings were actually leading me to eat, which was leading me to change my state. That when I had the food, I felt different. I felt comforted or I felt more relaxed or something shifted in the way I was feeling that I really wanted and that's why I was craving the food to get the state change. And that's legitimate. So what I wanna teach you today is how to get a state change when you need one in a different way by feeding your heart and not your food cravings. So to teach you this today, I'm bringing in a hallowed guest who is Patricia Ellsberg, my mother-in-law, the mother of my husband. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is my mother-in-love. <laughs> and Patricia is an expert in meditation and she's gonna teach us today. So why don't you take it away? Great. Well, there's a lot of science behind it. And what this is, is a process by which you connect to your heart and invoke feelings of well-being. You breathe through your heart, I'll lead you through it. Breathe in and out through your heart, you imagine that. And what they have found in the research is that it changes hundreds of physiological processes. Your heart rate variability, your immune system it improves, it balances your blood pressure. It also changes the hormones that your body produces away from stress hormones to hormones of well-being. And as a result, you feel satisfied and not reaching for that piece of food that uh, will not serve you. So let me lead you in the process because it's become part of my daily practice. Every day I do it. And so the very simple version is, let's say, that you're heading towards the refrigerator and you're feeling a yearning to eat more than you feel you should. You stop. You place your awareness in the area of your heart, place your consciousness in the area of your heart, and take three deep breaths, imagining you're breathing in and out through your heart. So I'm going to just lead you in that now. We're going to both do it together. She's teaching me. <laughs> so, three breaths in and out through our heart. So this centers you and your awareness out of the thinking mind, out of the craving mind, into a, a, a pleasant physiological experience. The next step is to imagine or remember a time when you felt deeply satisfied, not wanting anything. It could be when you're on a beach, it could be from your fantasy, it could be holding a pet, whatever it is that makes you feel just fulfilled. And you go back into that experience or through your imagination and you not only think of it but you really place yourself back in that experience and you use your senses you look around you um, feel what it felt like you look at the sights and the sounds and do it as vividly as you possibly can and come to the felt sense of that positive experience Take a moment to really re-experience something that made you feel whole and full, fulfilled. When you do this for about 45 seconds after taking the three deep breaths, you are actually changing hundreds and hundreds of processes in your body, as I mentioned. And my friends who have had this problem with weight have said that it is help them not open the refrigerator door but close it go into this heart math uh, institute process and actually change their eating habits so that's the process well, I am thoroughly relaxed <laughs> very much in my heart I was floating away 
and now I'm back <laughs> and thank you and it, just to extend it if once you get the hang of this very simple process the next thing to do then is to expand and extend the time when you're feeling fulfilled so I tell you a secret tell me. why I'm slender tell me <laughs> it's every morning I, before I have to get up I wake up a little early and I put a hand on my heart hand on my belly while I'm in bed and I go to this felt sense of well-being and I just breathe it into my heart and send it throughout my body and I'll do this sometimes for five ten sometimes for a half an hour if I don't have to get up and this soft bliss starts to fill my being if I have a problem it, solutions arise and so I really recommend cultivating this process. If you want to go more, just go to the Institute of Heart Math and you'll learn more about these exercises. Excellent. I'll link to that below this. Patricia, thank you. <laughs> it's a delight. <laughs> <laughs> and again, what this does is changes your state. It changes how you're feeling. And that is the secret to pleasurable weight loss. It's not about counting calories. It's not about having these iron grip on what you eat. It's about awareness of how you feel. This is the feminine way to lose weight. So Patricia, thank you for teaching us this technique on how to feel more and how to feel our heart and how to feel that sense of well-being, which is always available right there. It really is. Three deep breaths and imagination. And that does it much better than eating ice cream. <laughs> Hear that? Three deep breaths and imagination. That does it much better than ice cream. <laughs> So this is Jenna Laflamme signing out from today. If you like this video, please like it, share it around. And if you're not already on the list for these pleasurable weight loss videos, please come on board at pleasurableweightloss.com. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>